House lawmakers support the Trade Department's call to restore its original budget proposal to assist MSMEs affected by the COVID-19 pandemic. Camille Samonte with the story. Several lawmakers have lamented the budget cut of the Trade Department, especially as the COVID-19 pandemic continues to take a toll on businesses. At a House budget hearing on Thursday, Antique Representative Lauren Legarda said the slashed funds could have offered relief to affected micro, small, and medium enterprises or MSMEs. Why is there a huge cut? in the budget of MSMEs for shared services facilities when that could be uh, the bullet that could really jumpstart the micro, even nano economy, uh, not just in Metro Manila, but in the rural areas. Trade Secretary Ramon Lopez said the 2021 budget for MSMEs had been reduced to 2.2 billion pesos from 2.6 billion pesos this year. That budget definitely is, is very small when it comes to microfinancing because just during this pandemic, uh, ang ginawa po ng SB Corp, dahil wala naman siyang additional funding, ginamit niya yung budget niya supposedly for 2020, for 2020 at yun na yung ginamit para sa pandemic uh, response, uh, ginamit, ginamit na for microfinancing. The proposed spending plan for the DTI and its attached agencies for 2021 is at 20.162 billion pesos. But Lopez said some of the budget they submitted for several programs were also rejected. With this, lawmakers are pushing for DTI's budget restoration for next year. Valenzuela City First District Representative Wesley Gachalian said the agency's 2021 allocation is not enough to support 1 million registered MSMEs as well as the unregistered enterprises who have also been affected by the crisis. Kailangan po natin sigurong lakihan ang uh, pondo overall ng DTI. At kung hindi man po ito mangyayari, siguro po sapat na lang po na ang una nating Kung pwede ho, palakihin ng pondo ay ang tulong natin sa micro, small, and medium enterprises. No? That's number one. The 2.2B is, hindi ho ito makakatulong. Eh, no? uh, especially right now ho, na mabigat po ang hinaharap natin. Meanwhile, the House Committee on Trade and Industry approved a bill that seeks to amend some provisions in the Price Act. DTI wants to tag more products as basic necessities and prime commodities. Under the bill, PPEs, face masks, safety goggles, and medical devices will now be included in prime commodities. DTI will also impose price control measures for these products in times of emergencies such as public health crisis. The agency is also looking at imposing a suggested retail price on gadgets that will most likely be used by students for online learning. For News 5, Camille Samonte, We Are One News.